What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the 5 Foreign Fisherman YouTube channel. Today, I'm out here with Wesley from 5 Foreign Lip Rippers. We got the old drifty with us today. We're gonna be floating the river. Now, this should be pretty interesting because I don't know if you guys can pick that up, but the rapids up there are pretty like rapidy still. So the river bumped up probably about, what'd you say? Five inches? Five, six inches. Probably about five or six inches last night. So we're thinking there's enough water. Uh, we've seen a ton of really bright fish roll like behind us so what we're hoping is there's a lot of fresh fish pushing in now you guys have been absolutely freaking ripping on me for catching dark fish and today should be a lot different than that i don't need any more eggs now we're trying we might try to keep a hen or something today possibly but not 100 percent sure on that so there will be a link for wesley's youtube channel and his instagram in the description so subscribe subscribe what what is it 541 lip rippers 541 lip rippers but we're going to show you guys what tactics we're using today and then we're going to go out and freaking see if we can get some fish all right, so what we're throwing today is some twitching jigs, some spinners, some eggs. I got a half ounce addicted tail out twitcher. I got that paired up on a striker, Oregon rod, reel, and tackle model rod, seven and nine, heavy, ready for 12 to 25. It's a one piece rod. I got it paired up with the loose inshore reel. That's got a 20 pound drag on it. It's perfect. I got 30 pound Power Pro V2 on it with a 20 pound fluoro Seaguar red label leader on it. That's how you get done on that. For the spinners, I got a good old R&B spinner, size four on here. That's coho killer. You can see all the paint chipped on it. It's caught a lot of fish. I got this on a Tika salmon steelhead special. This is a medium action two piece rod. I got 30 pound Power Pro V2 on here with the loose KVD reel on it. It works perfect for the spinners. Okay, so for our bobber setup today, now I actually had uh, somebody on Instagram ask me what I was using the other day. So. I figured why not build it to all of you guys. Uh, this is my Okuma Cascade Pro 15 to 40 rod. Uh, it's a 10 foot six. I like it just for mending. Uh, what, what do you use, Wesley? Me? I eight, use a eight six? Uh, no, I use a nine two. Okay, he has a nine two. So it's really more of a personal preference for you. Um, what I would say is if you have a buddy that has a couple different sizes of rods, try them out. No see what smaller you like. than nine foot. <laughs> is that nine foot? Yeah, no smaller than nine. Yeah, no We're smaller floating. than nine. Uh, I have my, this is my freaking <laughs> Johnny Morris signature. It's Bass Pro Shop Reel. I was brain farting, dude. Um, we're just running a slip float, three quarter ounce. Uh, I'm running Power Slick, Power Pro Super Slick V2, just like Wesley's running. Uh, we have a Dave's Tangle Free, three quarter ounce on there. I'm running 20 pound, uh, I think this is SST, Salmon Trout, Steelhead, Seaguar. And then we're running a Forot Kamigatsu Octopus Hook now. If you saw my last video, I have a little bead above my eggs. Now, this is just a B&R, you know, with a T-stop on there. But I like to run this so when I get down to my skein only on my eggs, it still has some color left on there. And, I mean, it seems to work pretty good. I've caught a couple fish on this setup this year. So, it obviously has proven to be pretty effective. But we're going to go ahead and freaking jump in the old drifty, get out on the river. Make sure you guys do subscribe, leave a thumbs up on this video, and hopefully we can go bonk some fish for you guys today. What do you think? First cast kind of day? No. It'd be cool to catch a trout or something. Cutthroat catch and cook. Oh, oh, oh my God. I just had a coho. I just lost a coho right there. Oh, did you see it? Oh my God. It was huge. It absolutely yoinked me, bro. First cast. Gosh dang it. Right in front of us too. You didn't see it? I'm surprised you didn't look down and see it. It was going it death rolling like immediately right here in this little calm water dude this is where they all sit it was like right here dang that was badass dude that was first cast now watch i'm not gonna touch a fish all day are you yeah oh oh i saw that oh i saw that it might just be a trout cutthroat baby that might have been what hit me that is a beautiful cut nice little cutthroat got it right there on the inside seam not Water a bad down. one. This boat, baby. A few moments later. All right, boys, I just hooked up. <clears throat> you want to film me, Wesley? It's a good one, too. I can't tell if it's a nice one. Okay, guys. Oh, my God, it's dumping, dude. I can't tell if it's a nice fish or not yet. I haven't actually seen it yet, but we're seeing if we can put a fish in the boat today. If it's not bright, I'm going to let it go. I don't need eggs, so. Bobber and eggs, though. Oh, it's actually a nice, it's actually a nice fish. Yeah. It is dumping line. Dude, do you see that fray in my line? Mm -hmm. There's a fat fray. Where'd it go? 
What is it? It's definitely a Chinook. These are the eggs I just cured too. Yeah. It's a little dark. Oh my God, running, she's running, she's running. Oh, dumping line. Good. I'll just make sure my GoPro is looking at it good while you net it. That way you can just, after we land it, we'll talk about it for a second and snap a couple pictures, ready? Okay. Okay, hold on, you're good. He's running again. He's running again. Okay. He just keeps running. It's a pretty good fish. I haven't really seen it yet. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> what a bobber down though. That was pretty sweet. Oh. Turn, in, turn in the boat, turn the boat. I'm gonna bring her back over here. Whatever it is, I think it's a buck. No, every time it gets close enough to where I'm barely able to see it, it takes off again. Dude, I am having to put some muscle into this thing. I'm gonna give one good. Is that a decent fish? Oh my goodness, bro. She just keeps zinging on me. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, but is it it just keeps dumping, bro? Oh, it keeps going. Nope. Gosh darn it, this fish is angry, dude. Why? It's actually a pretty good one though, I'm not gonna lie. It's actually not a bad yeah. fish. I can't lift it, dude. There we go. It's a buck in the net. There we go. Yeah, it's not a bad buck. Okay guys, there's that buck I just caught. This fish is too dark to keep, so we're gonna just go ahead and uh, pop the hook out of this big guy. Bobber and eggs today for the win. But that's not a bad fish, so. We're gonna go, we're just gonna snap a couple pictures really quick and then we'll catch you guys on the release. Oh, oh. <laughs> like, <laughs> he was freaking shoved off, but hell yeah. Make sure you guys freaking subscribe for Big Sam like that, the fish bump baby. I'm gonna put one over here. <laughs> All my eggs just fly off. I don't know where that ledge starts right there. What's weird is those fish have been literally jumping right where my bobber is. Yeah. I don't know how deep it is right there. Uh, I think it's like seven foot deep. Think it's that deep right there? Yeah. Because that hole's almost like nine, ten foot deep there when you're still there. That was a pretty nice one. Nice fish. I that fish would kill. I'd kill that fish. And I want to run this right down along that shelf. Yep. Fish. Yep. Yep, nice. Oh, fish. That was sick, dude. I was like right along that shelf. Yeah, it's a nice one. It's heavy. You want to fight it, Weasel? Okay, hold on. This way, if you want to kill it, you can. Hold on. It's fucking, it won't stop, bro. It won't stop. I'm trying not to. All right, guys, I just hooked one, but. Oh, dude, you real hand is bent. Is it bent? Yeah. Oh, big rip. I hand it off to Wesley just so he can feel the power of the, uh, the old Okuma. It's heavy, dude, huh? Oh, 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 that's a nice one. That's a nice one, dude. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> right down on the shelf, dude. That was crazy. And now it's just flat in the current. That was crazy. That looks like an, oh yeah, that's, that's a nice really fish. Nice. That's a nice one. That might we might be able to keep that one. That's a that's a stud, dude. 
That is a st that's a big one. Dude, that's yeah. Bro, he's splitting the schemes on this bad boy. <laughs> that's actually not a bad fish, I'm not gonna lie. Here it comes. Dude, you can't even move it. Look how deep no, I am too. Fish is freaking heavy. I don't know how it's hooked either. I just looked up and my bobber was gone, so. Alright. Okay, we're gonna get catch you guys back on the GoPro. We're gonna net this fish. Oh shoot, that's a nice one. We are not losing this one. That's a nice fish. We should probably we should probably kill this fish. Yep. It is barely in the mouth though. So. I'm lifting. That is a but, nice one. But still. That's a good one. I think that's an eater probably. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. In the net. Hell yeah, baby. <laughs> that is a good one, that's dude. A heavy fish. That thing was heavy. Okay. Oh yeah. We'll we'll kill that fish. Oh my god, bro. That is a big buck, dude. Yeah. That is a stud. Holy cow. Think of a buck. Big old fish. Nice, pretty decently colored fish. I'm struggling holding this fish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I have a scale too, so we can actually weigh it. But... I'd say 20, 25. Yeah, that's probably a 20 pounder. <laughs> Okay, everybody, so uh, pretty much we ended up catching those couple of fish. Show you guys really quick this fish one more time. But yeah, that's after that fish has been bonked and bled for I, quite honestly like six hours or so. Uh, we put in a hard day. We ended up catching another jack not on camera and I think another cutthroat not on camera. So that's not too bad. Not a terrible day, but I do appreciate you guys and I would love it if you'd subscribe and leave a thumbs up on this video. There should be more Chrome content coming for you guys. I know that you guys uh, seem to, you know, you want to see more of that. Just to clear a few things up with you guys, because I've had a bunch of you guys message me and for some odd reason, you guys think I'm keeping fish where I'm not allowed to. A while ago when I filmed that trout video, when I caught that Chinook, that was in the end of like middle to end of September. Now, I'm not allowed to keep a Chinook up there. I know that, but for you guys, just for the information, all those fish I've been catching other than that have been in a completely open area. It's not the same area. You guys really need to stop getting that confused because I don't like it when people are messaging me all upset at me that I'm keeping fish in supposedly closed water and I'm not. So um, I do eat all the fish I catch. Uh, I use all of it. Even though it's dark to you, it's not bad to me. So I, I just want to give you guys just that thought, you know, food for thought for you guys really quick. But we're going to get the boat trailer right now. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. That is going to do it for this episode. Make sure you guys stay tuned for more content to come. Peace out. I'll catch you guys' faces when I catch you.